We're going to go on a little tour of the Maker Barn. Maker Barn is uh, located on the five acre campus of Extraordinary Education. We're in uh, South Montgomery County, Texas, pretty close to the woodlands. So you can see this actually was a farm and uh, the Maker Barn really was a barn. So here we are at the Maker Barn. You can see it really was a barn. It was a, originally a horse barn and uh, they just been using it for storage and uh, it's a pole barn. We had to build out the insides. You'll see that in a little bit. But uh, let's go in here and uh, take a look around. All right. When you come in the door of the Maker Barn, we come through, a, it's a storage area. Right now, we just have a lot of stuff stored in here, but uh, we're getting a, a big cargo container, which we'll, which we'll use for storage later. This is the welding area over here. Get my badge and put it in here. Open the door. Uh, it's a welding area and also we do casting. It's a little furnace here. This can be used for investment casting to burn out as a burnout furnace. It can also be used for heat trading, that sort of thing. We've got a digital controller we put on it. Uh, a small, small melting furnace, we can melt non-ferrous metals with that. And uh, we can do sand casting, we have Petro Bond down there. Uh, some sander, that sort of thing. Over there is a, um, a downdraft cabinet. The downdraft cabinet is uh, it's pretty nice, it's, uh, and we've got a uh, small plasma cutter right there next to it. Downdraft cabinet keeps that brown dust from the plasma from getting all over. Over there where there's a little a small uh, MIG machine, works really well. And over here we've got a, a jig up table and um, a TIG welder. The TIG welder is a 250 amp uh, inverter type AC-DC with a water cooler, so it's a pretty nice rig. And next to it there is actually a plastic injection molding machine. But, uh, it's fun. We can, uh, we can make molds in our machine shop area. And we've done that already a couple cases. So let's leave the welding area. I'll close the door. And uh, that's the entrance to the main shop. Actually, uh, we'll be passing through the office area. Now, this is the office area where the office manager resides. Um, we, uh, or uh, actually barn manager is what we call it. Barn manager is a volunteer who uh, is here whenever we have an opening. So we've got about, I think it's 16 barn managers on staff. Let's see, I come up here, I have to sign in. For sign in for our Mac system, and we're here into the wood shop. Like most wood shops, uh, it, uh, it it depends a lot upon the table saw. This is a saw stop. This is the industrial model, which is a big one, and uh, it's a pretty nice machine. We've got a over here. We've got a, a, a panel saw and a bandsaw with a narrow blade on it. That particular bandsaw is, is set up for scroll work. Uh, over here we've got a, a wide belt sander, uses a 16 inch wide belt. A router table, which is turned the wrong way right now. But uh, it's, uh, it's just something we built here. You may have seen that in the other, another video that we put up. Drill press. This is a, a six inch joiner with a spiral cutting head. And then we've got a 20 inch planer, again with spiral cutting heads. Spiral cutting heads are, are much, much quieter. We had the other planer, it would uh, drive us all out of the shop, it's so noisy. This is a, a fairly new thing. This is a 14 inch resaw bandsaw. It can, get, it can cut boards up to 14 inches wide, resaw boards up to 14 inches wide. It's a very nice machine, very quiet, very stable machine. <clears throat> and over here, we have a Powermatic table saw, an old Powermatic 66. And it's, uh, it's nice because we've got it set up strictly for dado use. It's difficult to use a dado blade on the saw stop because you have to change out both, you know, of course the blade, but you also have to change out and recalibrate the, uh, uh, the, the uh, stop, the brake module. So, you know, it's, uh, it's not something we want the members to have to do. This is a 
little bit of our machine shop here. We got a bridge port. It's a what's called a 2J, a variable speed head. A very nice machine. <clears throat> and uh, over here, just basic little work areas. We got a 12 by 36 inch gearhead lathe. It has a digital readout. And uh, and then some metrology equipment over there. But um, this lathe is a fairly new thing for us as well. And a uh, little uh, three-in-one sheet metal machine. So, uh, so let's go into this room. This used to be a, a tack room. Like I said, this used to be a horse barn. There were actually stalls in here when we started building it out. Um, so sanding room. We uh, do most of our dusty stuff in here, as you can see. And um, we've got several sanders, a uh, sand blaster, a little press over there. But uh, that's a downdraft cabinet. We built the downdraft cabinet ourselves. It's, uh, it doubles as a sanding booth and also a, a booth, spray booth for powder coating. So we have some powder coating equipment. And over here we have a powder coating oven. Let's go back out here, main shop. And also, of course, we have a woodworking wood bench, woodworking bench there, and um, there's a, a, a sliding compound miter saw. It's a pretty good size one. It'll cut up to 14 inches wide. It's a pretty amazing machine. Clamps, that sort of thing. Now over here, we have our CNC router. It's a pretty heavy duty machine. Greg's fixing to do some is going to be doing some work on it. It uh, has a range of 52 inches by 52 inches, but it's set up in such a way that we can put a 4 by 8 sheet of plywood on there and work on it in, in uh, two pieces. This Hegner scroll saw and, and then uh, it's a wood lathe. It's a variable speed wood lathe. It's been rebuilt a little bit and uh, the uh, tool grinding position right there next to it. So let's go into the laser room. Here's our laser room. We've got two lasers. The big yellow one over there is uh, 24 by 36, 80 watt. And um, we go take a look over here. We've got a uh, 18 by 24 inch machine that's uh, 60 watts. As you can see, there's a lot of neat little little things have been made on it. Lasers are very popular because if you can draw it in a 2D drawing program like Corel Draw or something, uh, you can cut it on a laser. People really enjoy that. It's a good way of getting into making. Much simpler than a 3D printer actually. Let's go upstairs. Upstairs is kind of our uh, craft and uh, technology center. We've got uh, some cute computers here, general purpose computers that uh, we use for CAD or, or you know, just general purpose. This is the electronics area, Ele electronic test equipment. Uh, and uh, we can reconfigure these benches. If we have electronics class, we put them in a row. So we have three stations that are have all identical equipment. This room is used <clears throat> not only for the crafts and technology, but also for general meetings. So we've got a whiteboard, we've got a, a large display over there that we can set on a table and, and use for presentations. <clears throat> In the corner there is a small router. This router is uh, set up for doing circuit boards for routing circuit boards. Works very nice. And a little bit of electronic rear, <coughs> rear workstations, uh, some projects and stuff laying around. <coughs> typical in a makerspace, I guess. And another thing, of course, that's typical for makerspace is 3D printers. 
So we have uh, three 3D printers here. <clears throat> the two uh, power specs, we typically run ABS and the, uh, this, this Prusa, we, we run uh, uh, PLA in that typically. <clears throat> we got, we've got a 24-inch uh, wide laminator and a, a t-shirt press, which is, gets a, a surprising amount of, of use. People like uh, cutting vinyl and uh, making t-shirts. <clears throat> Speaking of vinyl cutters, we've got a Cameo, which can use to cut vinyl, and also a 24-inch vinyl cutting machine. And a uh, light table, which, which helps out for uh, various things, but uh, weeding the, the uh, vinyl is, is one of the things that's popular to do on there. We've got a, uh, a dry mount press. This dry mount press we use for photographs, that sort of thing, artwork to mount it on you know, mat board. And uh, anyway, uh, it's kind of like a craft area around this area. We've got these large cabinets. These large cabinets are actually full of craft materials. So there's never a, a lack of something to do around here. There's a little, there's a setup for doing uh, uh, resin casting. And we've got a, a 42 inch wide printer. Another just general purpose printer over there, and another display which can be people can watch YouTube videos, that sort of thing on a larger display there. But uh, that's pretty much the Maker Barn. Uh, we're looking to trying to expand that sort of thing. We're kind of that's kind of a problem for us, but uh, we'll uh, we'll we'll, uh, we'll find some space. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.